Hey, hey, everybody, it's TD back again with another video. Uh, last week, um, I got more Christmas books than I expected. I'll explain. Um, my mother uh, sometimes gets books given to her for me in the US. <laughs> the only problem is sending them is a little bit of a problem because sometimes it can be pricey. But last week, I got this big old. <laughs> box of books uh, from my mom, um, uh, sort of like a Christmas-ish kind of present um, uh, from uh, friends of hers that give her books for me because they, they know that I like to read books. So you'll see what's in here. It's, some of it is pretty good. Some of it I'm not so sure about. Maybe you can help me. Okay, first book, Freedom by Jonathan Franzen. Now this is a book that I've desperately wanted to read because I really like Jonathan Franzen. I really did like the corrections. So I'm interested to read this one to see what it's like. Now the problem with this one is, whoo, it's massive, but it's a beautiful book. It's hardcover and it's in excellent condition. So uh, that should be interesting to read. Next one I got was Solar by uh, Ian McEwan. Now, Ian McEwan is a wonderful writer. Uh, one of the books that uh, I read that I really liked by him was a book called Saturday, which was about uh, a physician. That one was really good. Now, this one, I'm not really sure what it's about. I don't know. Um, I think it's a, a, a maybe another scientist or physician or something. He has marital problems and something I don't know uh, but um, this one I will surely be getting to this year because I really do like Ian McEwan and then there's a, there's another Ian McEwan that I have on my list which is Sweet Tooth so I might be reading that too so there's that one now this one is one I'm not so sure about because I don't usually read these kind of books um, the only time I've ever actually read anything about vampires was when I read uh, Twilight and that was a first for me um, uh, the only other the vampire book I've read is, is is Dracula, and that is not the same thing as Twilight. But anyway, so this is a, a, a series called Thirst um, by Christopher, I think it's Christopher Pike. Now, I don't know a thing about this book. If anybody knows anything about this series, could you please comment below and tell me, is this worth me even getting hooked up in? Because actually I have here book one. Book two and book three. Now, apparently, it has four books. So, the person gave my mom these three and they're spanking brand new. So, if that doesn't work out for me, who knows? Maybe I'll do a giveaway and you guys can uh, have it up for grabs. All right, because I'm not really sure about that. Now, the next book is called Memories. <laughs> Of my melancholy whores by Gabriel Garcia Marquez. Now I love Gar Gabriel Garcia Marquez. My favorite is 100 Years of Solitude. Um, my least favorite was Love in the Time of Cholera. I just did not like that book. I'm sorry I didn't like it. But um, this is another book that people talk about a lot and I thought why not give this a try and it's a very small book. Very pretty very South American looking with the flowers and all that. You know, nice spine, really cute. So uh, I might give that a go. And now I have this other book, which is called Anthropology of an American Girl Novel. Now this is another book. I have no idea uh, about this book, but I read the back and I looked it up on Goodreads. It's apparently a book of coming of age um, of a, I think of a teenage girl. Um, it's gotten good reviews on Goodreads. Unfortunately, the book is a mess because it got all bent up in the box. Look at that. That just makes me sick. Anyway, I'll have to get over it. I tried to, you know, flatten it out. <laughs> that didn't work. But anyway, I'm going to still read it. But, um, if anyone has heard about this book or read uh, this book, comment below and tell me what you think of it. Um, cause it looks kind of interesting. It's not a book that I've heard really anything about. Next one. This one is also another interesting book. It's called Nine Lives. Okay, now, 
This is a book which follows the lives of nine different people that are living in New Orleans. Um, going from the storm of the Hurricane Betsy storm all the way until the um, Katrina storm, I think it is. And it's written by journalists who basically interviewed all of these people at different moments. And some of these people have never met each other, but somehow he manages to correlate the story amongst these nine people. And it's supposed to be very authentic. I'm from New Orleans, so that interests me. If you're interested in New Orleans, this might be uh, something uh, good to check out. Okay, next book that was in the box was One for the Money, okay, which is Jeanette Ivanovich. Now, I haven't read any of her books, but um, I've been wanting to, so this is kind of good. I'm starting from the beginning, and um, I'll probably definitely do a quick review on this one. I'm sure a lot of you have already read it, but, you know, I haven't, so I'll be reading that. All right, the number one ladies detective agency. Okay, this book, I've never read this book. I've heard mixed reviews about this book. Um, but I find it interesting, and um, I really would like to give this a try because um, it has a lot of really cool components in it. So maybe I'll be reading this one next month since the main character in this book is a black woman. And I haven't seen any of the movies either. So um, if you've seen any of the movies, tell me what you thought of the movies. Because I might uh, check out the movies as well at the same time. And last book. Now this one is kind of weird. Here we go with the vampires again. Fat White Vampire Blues. <laughs> okay. No. <laughs> Don't know. Um, it's signed by the author. <laughs> um, not sure if this is a good one or a bad one. I'm thinking, eh, not so sure, because when I went on Goodreads, I think it got maybe just got three stars, you know, so I'm not sure. A lot of people said, oh, it's just, you know, it's really vulgar. It's not good. You know, I don't know. So if you've read this book, comment below and tell me if you liked it, if it's even worth reading, because I don't want to waste my time this year on bad books. I've decided I don't want to go down the bad book route again. Okay. So uh, that's it for my big Christmas haul, which I didn't expect at all to be getting all of those extra books. Um, but yeah, it was fun opening the box and everything and finding out that there was, you know, loads of more new stuff to put on my bookshelf. Okay, so that's uh, all for right now. I'll be back with some reviews. Bye bye.